Hi, today we'll discuss the problem on the uh, parallelogram law of forces. We'll solve a problem by uh, by using a parallelogram uh, law of forces here. You need to apply this law here. Okay, let us start with one problem here. Two forces. acts at an angle of acts at an angle of 120 degree 120 degree the bigger force the bigger force is of 40 newton is of 40 newton is of 40 newton and the resultant is Perpendicular to perpendicular to the smaller one. Find smaller force. Find smaller force. Okay. This is how the problem. First, we need to understand the what in the problem what they are given here. Okay, I'll read the problem once again. Two forces acts at an angle of 120 degree. There are two forces are there. There acts at an angle of 120 degree. Just I'll draw here. That is one force, and one more force is it is at an angle of 120 degree. This is 90 degree and 100. That is 120 degree. This is 120 degree. Okay. Two forces. Just the direction he is not given. Just note down here. We will see here later. Next. The bigger force is of 40 Newton. Anyone you can consider the bigger force. Either I uh, will say this one as P force. This one as Q force here. Okay. Any one force you need to take it as the bigger force. I will take let P will be bigger force. Let P equal to bigger force. That will be equal to 40 Newton, right? 40 Newton. So here P equal to 40 Newton. P equal to 40 Newton. The bigger force is 40 Newton. And the resultant is perpendicular to the smaller one. If this is the bigger, which one is the smaller? Q is the smaller. Q is the smaller. Then the resultant is perpendicular to the Q, to the smaller one. It means you need to draw this one exactly as this is the resultant. This is the resultant and this should be perpendicular that is 90 degree. This should be 90 degree. Okay. So uh, perpendicular to the smaller one. Find the smaller force. You need to find out Q equal to how much. This is the smaller force Q equal to how much. This is the statement. Now just you just this is a parallelogram law, law of forces. Because you, you are representing two sides of a parallelogram are two forces. Just other, I'll just mark it other 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 two forces here. This is one. This is one more here. Okay, these other two forces here. Okay. Now once again I'll write the condition here. That is, what are the data I given here? P that is bigger force. Data P equal to forty newton. 120 degree, two forces, acts, the angle between these two forces P and Q is 120 degree. What is that? That is theta. Theta equal to 120 degree. In the previous video or previous class, I explained the about the parallelogram law of forces in, in, in there. What is theta? What is P? What is Q? And what is alpha? Just if you want to recall, just go for the previous video here. Okay. That is a, this is theta. Theta is nothing but the angle between two forces here. That is 120 degree. Next, any other data is given? Ah, what is 90 here? What is 90? Okay, 90 is the resultant, the angle between resultant force and Q. Okay, if this is 90, just I'll make it this one as A, B, C, D, the parallelogram that I mark here. If angle D, A, C is 90 degree and 
this is whole angle is 120 degree and can you define what is this angle here this angle is 120 minus 90 right 120 minus 90 it means that is angle I will just explain here that is DAB angle DAB DAB is 120 degree that is theta right that is theta now DAC the that is DAC I, uh, if you want the CAB angle CAB equal to angle DAB minus DAB minus angle DAC right angle DAC what is angle DAB DAB is 120 degree this is 120 degree minus DAC is how much DAC 90 degree it is 90 degree that is this will be equal to 30 degree that is CAB CAB this is 30 degree right 30 degree that is angle CAB this I can call it as alpha because alpha is the angle made between resultant force and the any one of the uh, applied force here you can call this also alpha this also alpha okay depending upon the con the consideration you need to take the different formula as i explained in the previous uh, recording uh, previous record this is alpha okay this is alpha now these data he is given now you need to find out the smaller force q equal to how much q equal to how much okay just i'll, I'll erase this one If you if you want to find out Q, you have two formulas. One is R resultant. A resultant equal to you know that the P square plus Q square plus 2PQ into cos theta. Cos theta. This is one formula is there. If I consider the first one, first one resultant here, you don't know the R here because here the resultant force is not given in this problem. You don't know resultant, you know P force, P is 40. You don't know Q, you know theta also. You know theta also, theta is that is 120 degree. It means here two are unknowns are there. So you cannot use because you don't know uh, resultant force and you, <coughs> you don't know that is Q force. Okay. Tan alpha equal to here this is P, this is Q sine theta divided by plus Q cos theta, right? Q cos theta. Now, tan, what is alpha here? Alpha is in your problem, it is 30 degree, right? It is 30 degree. Equal to, you don't know Q, you need to find out Q. Sine theta is 120 degree. 120 degree divided by, what is the P force here? P is 40. That is 40 plus Q cos 120. 120 degree, right? This is the tan theta, the formula. Okay, now tan 30 here, the answer is 0 0.577. 577 equal to, you don't know Q. How you will write the sine 120? Sine of 120 is uh, 90 plus 30, right? 90 plus 30 divided by 40 plus Q you don't know cos of 90 plus 30 90 plus 30 okay now I'll erase I'll erase just I'll go continue here okay now 0.577 equal to Q sin 90 plus 30 is cos 30 that is cos of 30 90 90 plus ASTC that is the plus this is plus divided by 40 plus Q into cos 90 plus 30 uh, it is sin 30 the sign will be changing here that is sin 30 but 90 plus uh, 90 plus means in the second quadrant so uh, cos is negative this is minus 30 this is 0.577 Okay, equal to Q, 
cos 30 is root 3 by 2. This is root 3 by 2 divided by 40 plus 40 minus q into sin is 1 by 2. Right? q is 1 by 2. This will be equal to 0.577 equal to that is 0.866 q 0.866 q divided by 40 minus 40 minus 0.5 q right okay 0.5 q this just i'll take here the uh, i'll interchange here that is 40 minus 0.5 q equal to 0.866 q divided by 0 0.577 0 0.577 here okay next If you go there, that is 40 minus 0.5 q equal to, if I divide 0.866 divided by 0.577, then I will get 1.5 q, 1.5 q, 1.5 q here. Now, this you can take it in the right side here, that is 40 equal to 1.5 q plus 0 0.5 q, right? Okay, now 40 equal to 1.5 plus 0.5 is? 2q therefore q equal to 20 newton did you get the point this is how uh, this is the smallest force uh, it means you know, find the perpendicular to the smaller smaller one find the smaller force this is q is the smaller force okay this is how you need to solve the problem uh, by using the parallelogram law of forces here okay